everybody, it's Kayla, and welcome back to the Westbrook Legacy. So today, oh, 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 good old Scarlet's in labor. Oh my god, I know, I know, I know. We cut off last episode on a cliffhanger with the whole, is Belle pregnant, is she not? And uh, we're gonna keep that going because, um, <laughs> precious baby Scarlet here is gonna have a baby. Oh, I just want the screenies, but you guys, look, this makes me so happy, you know? Like, like, let's just get, that's a good picture of her. <laughs> but I like to go to the hospital to have this baby. So we're going to join her. Now the question is, who to bring with us? You know, so we could bring Mama. We could bring the father of the baby who we are not on good terms with. We could bring our sister-in-law. We could bring our brother. Um, we could bring some randoms, of which I am unsure. I feel like, though, maybe we would bring our mom to the hospital. And then obviously, like, the family members are going to come come what I, I said hospital i said hospital oh yeah yeah okay but let oh oh we're going to the hospital just kidding <laughs> premature freak out everything is fine um but listen you guys i feel bad for her because she's young she's alone she has kind of like a uh what's the word for her mother not great that's a good word for her mother and so i guess she's here for scarlet at least right now when she's going to have the baby but otherwise I mean, she's kind of wishy-washy when it comes to being there for her children's. Uh, so, you you know, Rosa's an interesting lady. She's kind of self-centered, but that's okay. But she's in, she's fine. She'll get over it. But we're going to have a baby. Oh, my. I'm so unprepared for this, you guys. I, like, jumped in her household, and all of a sudden it was like, Char or Scar <laughs> Scarlet is in labor. And I was like, oh, no. Okay. Well, press and record. And so that's what we're doing right now. But I was just taken aback by this, and I... Felt so attacked. Who is the doctor here? We got Vincent Lau. Okay, okay. Let's introduce ourselves. Let's be cheerful, not flirty. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> uh, let's talk to Mama. Let's. I don't know. I don't really know what to do in this situation. But hey. Oh my God! It's Tucker Russell. Hey, this is our friend. That's so cute. Look at my Sims just showing up out of nowhere. But earlier I said Charlotte instead of Scarlet by accident. Just then I, I hurt myself. I know because Charlotte was bound to write baby challenge. So we've got like a lot of babies going on with Charlotte. Um. I prematurely said her name. Yeah, anyway. But it's Scarlet's time to shine. She's gonna have her baby. And I'm so, oh my goodness, you guys, we're gonna have a child. She's so pregnant. This is, this is baby number three of the series. Um, none of which are <laughs> to the legacy founder. But what are you doing? Stop. We're gonna fill the baby over here? I mean, that's not my first choice, but hey, I'm not gonna judge you, you know? I mean, let's just get some screenings of this happening because if they're gonna take a long walk, I'm gonna take a long walk. And this is just me too. Like, this is me on a daily basis. Kind of waddling around, looking sad. Creepy mom behind me. I don't really have that problem. But some of us do, evidently. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know, you just keep walking. Honey, this is really bothering me right now. I'm waiting for it to stop. Oh, it stopped. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh she kept walking. She, mm, Rosa's still walking, but we're going to go back inside, check into the hospital, and then hopefully have a child, um, because, oh, Sophia, oh, that's a cute name, Sophia Waldron, I just, I love the hospital in The Sims 4, she's got some kind of weird glasses on, but, like, I'm not here to judge, so, oh, I paused the game, didn't mean to do that either, what can I say, I'm a mess right now, so are you, we are just collectively, the Simsy squad is not doing so hot lately, but we're working, what are you doing? Why is she still? Okay, no. I'm sorry. No, no. I. No. Yeah, okay. Control shift C. Testing cheats on. Um, reset object. Where did she go? Over there. Stop it. Why? I'm going to teleport her back in here. I don't even care. It's happening. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was incredibly frustrating. Like, I don't think I've ever been so annoyed in my entire life. You'd please just check in. You're going to. You've been here forever. Like, it was like 6 o'clock when we started playing this Let's Play. And it's been five minutes. Still have had no baby. Still have not checked in. Please, let's go. Oh, let's get the screenies. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is... A, I've been here way too much lately. <laughs> Just so much has happened in my Let's Plays. Just is a whole bunch of mess. But that's okay. We're working on it. It's a good old Thursday evening. It's 8 o'clock. Still haven't had dinner. And I'm busy recording my favorite Let's Play of all time. So, what are you doing right now? Are you eating? Snacks, I hope, because this is going to be a long one. <laughs> I don't know, it's going to be like 26 minutes of pure joy, so you're welcome. That's Oh, we have extra money. Hold on, I had to put her back in her household. I'm, let's put it down to like 1884. There you go. That makes, I forgot how much she had, but we had some hospital bills to pay, so 
That's much she's going to have. I don't want her to have lots of money. That defeats the purpose of the series. Um, which kind of sucks for her, but you know how it goes. And our mom is not here. So we are having this baby alone. Mom flaked out on us again. Um, not the first time this has happened. But I can't believe she would miss her own first grandchild's birth. But, you know, whatever, lady. You do you. I'm not here to judge. Oh yeah, yeah. This I feel like this guy is more trustworthy. Like I've had Katrina Caliente doing this and Nina Caliente doing this, and I don't trust the Calientes to birth my children, you know? Or yeah, I mean I birth them. They, my Sims birth them, but they, yeah. My point is I don't trust Nina or Dina Caliente and or this guy evidently because he took my heart out, which you could do. I mean, like I'm not dead at least. I hope. We learned that he's a doctor. You know what? That's good. We had a girl. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Hold on one second. All right, so I have this comment from a girl called Taylor, and she said name the baby Meep. And I thought that was like a really pretty name, so I'm going to go ahead and name the baby Meep. Uh, just kind of, it's so original, you know? And um, I mean, it seems a little bit out there, but I think it's so unique and beautiful. I am i can't. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. I'm going to name the baby not Meep. I'm going to instead name it Claire. I think it's so cute. Claire Chandler. Oh my goodness. We had a girl. We have a baby called Claire, but thanks suggestion. That was by Super Seal. Super cute name. I think it's beautiful. So we're going to have Claire and Scarlett Chandler, which is adorable. Scarlett and Dad had a baby. Oh my gosh. Should I name it Lothario? No, no. We aren't. Claire's not taking her dad's name. Her dad's a washout. A washout, a sellout, a turd face. I'm, <laughs> yes, all of the above. Oh, we don't have clothes on. All right. In hindsight, not a good idea. Um, because now I can't get my, like, hospital screenies because the mama is naked. So, thanks for that. But the word of the day today, following on that note, was suggested to me by Killer Nikki. And it is life. Because we have brought in a new life of Claire Chandler. And I'm very happy about this. Uh, so, we're going to go home, actually. And, you know, go see Claire. Get her a bedroom. Um, and then also maybe jump into maybe, I don't know, the legacy founders household and see if she's actually pregnant because I know the suspense must be killing you uh but I sort of I mean to, does Don know that we does do we need to talk to Don about this like Don's an actual turd like do we mm, I feel like he deserves to know that he had a baby that baby's been born but I don't want him in Claire's life at least for now I don't think that he deserves to be a part of her life because of how he reacted we found out that we were pregnant so if you don't want to be a part of baby's life you okay then you won't be, because we don't need, we don't need Don Lothario, you guys warned me about this too, and I said, no, it'll be fine, Scarlet's the real player here, oh no, oh no, Scarlet got her life ruined by him, but that's okay, every oh, she doesn't have an everyday outfit too, that's my fault, all right, apparently I'm a failure, but I'm gonna go ahead, I think, and decorate the baby's room with the, that's probably not gonna happen, okay, we'll do it on camera, uh, we're gonna go for a very stereotypical pink, because I feel like Claire already, I'm sensing, like, a very girly girl vibe from her, and I'm gonna roll with that, or maybe we, like, obsessively make her into a girly girl right now, and then she sort of, like, um, rebels against that as a teen, um, so, well, I, I like that idea, okay, okay, nice work, Kayla, you figured it out, but we're gonna make her have a very pink room as of right now, um, but of course, we don't have much money to do this, and so pink room with a baby in it. We'll decorate it a little bit later, but I mean, we, hey, we seriously have no money and uh, seriously have no job. So we're going to come hug her. Let's not the first thing we're not going to do change her diaper. We're going to come rock the baby. <gasps> we had a baby. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this, you guys. And it's actually a girl. See, yellow outfit. <laughs> the get together squad will understand. We had a mishap, but it's everything is fixed now. If you guys, are, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, we, there was a adoption incident, and we thought it was a boy, it was not a boy, and then, yeah, but, oh, you, okay, actually, though, this is a really pretty picture of Scarlet, and the baby doesn't look so good in it, but that's okay, like, you, who needs their firstborn to look pretty in their first pictures, you know, but, hey, I, sh I was gonna say I ship it, I don't ship it, that's creepy, it's a baby, god, Kayla, all right, but what did you want to do? kiss someone oh you want to get back in the game already you just had a baby and <laughs> critique something i'm gonna say no to that um but you know what i'm gonna have her go to sleep i th or <laughs> or not i'm gonna switch households because i don't want to deal with this whole like perfect needs for an entire night thing and we're gonna go i guess jump into Belle's household because Belle has been feeling sick 
I mean, maybe displaying some pregnancy type symptoms. I don't know. So maybe we should go take a pregnancy test, which is very exciting. I just, you guys, this is the beginning, not of the end, but of the beginning, you know? Oh, what is she doing at Red Brick? That's not your house. Oh, this child wants to see me die. Like, she, why, why, why can't you just listen to me and stay at home like a normal person? I stay at home all day. I'm fine. I am perfectly fine. But no, you insist on going out and seeing people? Who does that? Who leaves their bedroom for more than, you know, the minutes it takes to get food every day? Right? Like, that's just ridiculous. So, anyway, Belle having a social life. <laughs> that's cute. And I'm just, I'm trying to be relatable and funny, but am, am I? I don't know. I, I probably, if you guys are new to my channel, hey, um, she's naked too. Did I uninstall something? Oh, it's the wedding dress. Okay. Yeah, I uninstalled all those. Uh, every day number one, please, my precious child. Oh, cute. New outfits. I know, but we're going to come in here and I think, I think take a pregnancy test. Uh, so we have some good mood lit buffs, I suppose, from our wedding that just happened. Also, I upgraded our appliances in the kitchen. We have a better oven and a better fridge just because I am so annoyed. Oh my god, I didn't even, I didn't even vote. Oh my, we're pregnant. I was so unprepared for that. Uh, I was busy talking about my fridge, but the typical Kayla just talking about a fridge all the time misses everything important, but... That's me and my speed builds. I, but we're pregnant. Oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. You guys, this is our first child. This is the beginning of generation two. Okay, do you see this? 20 parts in and we're finally pregnant. <laughs> uh, Kayla, the, let's make a list of things that I'm bad at. Uh, number one, actually playing the game and not just talking through my Let's Plays. Number two, um, getting my Sims pregnant in a timely manner. Number three, um, not letting Risky Woohoo ruin everything. <laughs> number four, not ranting about fridges. And number five, apparently not letting my phone screen shatter before an AP exam. So that's just me. How about you? What? Are, oh, I missed the screen test again! Oh my god. The one thing that matters to me in life is screenshots, like not gonna lie, and I miss these most important ones. We can reenact them. She's, she's we're gonna have a bit. <gasps> look at her little belly. Oh, okay, stop, 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 stop. We need to see, we need to see this. We need to see, look at this. Do you see this? This little tiny baby belly. She's, she's so cute. You guys, Bella's gonna be the cutest pregnant sim ever, okay? Like, of the pregnant sims, Bella's the best kind because she's adorable and she's, like, wanting to have kids for so long now and she's going, she's gonna have a baby. I wonder if it's a girl or a boy. Oh my goodness. I can't. Now, do we want to scan the pregnancy or do we want to wait and see? That's the question. Okay, I'll be honest. I really want a girl. Like, I, and then, and then, and then Claire and the baby could be, like, best friends, and it would be so cute. Okay, you guys, you guys, I'm kind of freaking out right now. I'm so excited about this. I hope you are, too. This is a good day. Today is a good day in the Westbrook Legacy episode, but we still have lots of time to have this happen. I would like to actually uh, kind of just, oh, why are her needs so high? Why are your, mm -hmm. okay, well, we're going to write all night then. <laughs> I mean, hey. We're pregnant. We're going to come sit in here. We're going to write a book. Let's see. What are we writing right now? The pirate. Pro we haven't finished that yet. Write a job. Let's write a new nonfiction book about being pregnant. Oh, she feels sick. That was cute. About being pregnant for the first time. I mean, obviously, she's very experienced as of being pregnant for approximately 54 minutes. Uh, she knows a lot what she's doing. Um, <laughs> uh, let's. What are we going to call this? Like pregnancy. Pregnancy the ups and downs all right she is i mean she's just starting it right now so like she's starting out it's like a memoir of her time being pregnant oh that's cute that admit it that's cute okay yes i like this idea i just love this game so much what is this oh thank you oh thank you for the comment um quick promo you guys should follow me on the sims 4 gallery let's go to lil simsy Oh, look at this. I just, what the, I swear to you, I had like 750 followers yesterday. All right, but I just had 800 followers on here apparently, and that's super cool. So you should all follow me more on here. That's a really, that's actually a lot on the gallery. I'm surprised that, it, <laughs> hmm, discovering things on important, look at this cactus that I built. <laughs> I, that's the featured lot on my page. Is this, this cactus? 
I mean, yeah, you know what? This is probably not the best depiction of my skills as a Sims 4 builder, but I'm not even opposed to it. But I feel like I should feature something else on here. Really, really not here. Hold, oh, you're seeing my library. We shouldn't do that. That's private information. That's my favorite build that I've done lately. I like this one a lot. Let's let's feature that. Oh, look, I showcased a lot. Now everyone's gonna get notified of this when they, if they follow me. So, hey, you're welcome. I know you wanted that. All right, but Blake is clean. What a good husband. Oh my God, he, husband, he's our husband. Oh, this is so exciting, you guys. Wessler is so real. Like so beyond real that it's too real. Oh, you, what the, okay. I'm not even gonna, let's read the comment. Oh, love you too. Okay, I'm sorry. I just, I get so distracted. I'm not trying to. I just, good things are happening. We're celebrating. Celebrate good times, come on, you know? But this is the weirdest room in the whole house. Like, what even is this room? I tried to renovate off camera because I wanted some more space. Because, like, when the baby comes, we're going to have this treadmill and this extra computer that we won't have anywhere to put. And so that is going to prove to be a problem I can see occurring at some point in the near future. Hey, yellow car. Um, and we are going to need to fix that. But otherwise, we're just going to have a good old time, you know, just sitting around with this painting that we had from Blake's old room. Uh, I'm going to name it the pirate print. No, I'm not. I'm not going to name it. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to not. Oh, what skills do we have? Hold on. <laughs> Level five charisma, six cooking. Heck yes. Uh, nothing else too high except for writing is level six too. We have a higher cooking skill than a writing skill and we're like a professional writer. Really? Really? Okay, I'm not even here to- Why do you keep looking at the stupid frog? I hate the frog so much. I want to have- I want my kid to have a pet frog. Oh my god, Chip! I have to say- I forgot to say hi to him in this part. And then we got Beastie over there too. Beastie gets really left out, you know? I'm not trying to leave you out, Beastie, but like... I don't know. It's not the same. Like, we have a good relationship with you and we're like close friends, but like Chip is my number one, you know? And so I just- I feel like I'm sort of letting you down, you know? I've been ignoring you, and I don't mean to. I really don't. But hey, BC, I think you'll get over it. Um, you, I mean, the frog did. He Frog doesn't even have a name. Frog just exists. Eggplant. Eggy McGee. Um, purple frog. Yellow eyes. Beady. Oh, <laughs> Beastie and Beady? Because of his beady eye? Yeah, me too. Okay, I'm, I tried to be funny just then, but I don't think it worked. I want to write this book. We're going to finish the book tonight at this rate. 2 a.m., you know, say, oh, hey, we wrote another good book. That's good. We need to write, oh, 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 milk drinking. Okay, I'm not, is that a thing that pregnant people do? Drink a lot of milk? I don't know. I don't know which part of pregnancy. I'm only 16, luckily, and so, yeah, I'm uninformed. I will admit that to you. Anyway, I know about Sims pregnancy, at least, but we sold a book to our publisher. I want to keep writing the other one that we wrote. Um, write, resume writing this Pirate Princess book just because I want to, like, push these out, you know? Um, oh, that's not the computer I wanted you to sit at, but hey. Her, look at this, like, family photos with, like, Beastie and our dead father and the baby and the picture and the, the writing. Oh, that's so, this is such, like, a too real of a picture. You know, look at, I love all these pictures on our wall. I think it's so cute. But hurry up and write this thing. You've been writing it forever. And it's late. I just want you to sleep. But instead, I can't because your needs are too high for some weird reason. I don't understand what happened to you. It's when you, like, switch houses a lot. Their needs get all messed up. I don't know what the deal is. But I don't know. I'm not going to complain. It's just I think it's weird. So she's got some. She just can't sleep, I guess. So she's doing a lot of writing. And do you have work today? In three hours. At 8 a.m. Oh, maybe. Okay. Well, let's come sell that book to the publisher and then go to sleep because it is super late. Super early, really. We wrote a poetry book about the pirate prince. That's super weird, Belle. Like, of all the kinds of books to write, a poetry book about pirate princesses is kind of not my first choice. I'll, I do a lot of reading, and I probably wouldn't pick that book up, I'll admit to you. Um, but that's okay. You know, we, what do we got? Oh, Blake, get, oh, you guys need to get up. Blake needs to, oh, you're going to work right now. I'd so, oh, <laughs> I sort of speedy Gonzalez a little bit too fast. And we missed my chance. All right, she's going to, I mean, you can eat it when you get to work. So you're just going to power through until you absolutely need to get up and go to work. And that's now, so have fun. Uh, we're just going to see what happens here. Who's calling Blake? Oh, 
Jeffrey Landgrab, congratulations on getting married to Belle. I hope you two are very happy together. Now, this is one of those things where I don't know if he's being, like, sarcastic. Like, this comes out of, like, <laughs> come signed up, some kind of shady text. Like, he's being sarcastic, or is he, like, legitimately happy for us? I can't tell. What kind of a sim is Jeffrey? Would he be like, I hope you two are very happy together? Because I feel like, listen, oh, oh, this is weird. Okay, because, <laughs> sorry, I, epiphany. So Jeffrey, you know that Johnny Zest is like a secret land grab that was disowned by the land grabs because he wanted to be a comedian. So this is Johnny's dad, who I assume probably was good friends with William Rus Rus Westbrook. And so do you think that he is happy or upset that Blake and Belle are married. Because he's probably kind of close to Belle. Um, and Blake is sort of a, a deemed to be a bad influence because he had a rough past, you know? So maybe Jeffrey is just checking up, like, I hope that you two are gonna be happy, like, you better treat her well because this is like, I mean, listen, okay, so Jeffrey and William were college roommates. They were like in the same fraternity when they were in college, like back in the day, you know? So Jeffrey's just checking up on us. That's chill, I appreciate that Jeffrey, I do. Uh, we made some money. Oh, that's a lot of royalty money. I'm okay with this. Okay, good. We have a steady income, thank God. That's all that we need in life. And we've got a good Jeffrey on our side. So, you know. All right, but Blake is home first, and he did not make much money at all. What is your deal? Pros and tell. I just want to get a promotion. I don't, I hate this. I hate this secret agent career so much. Oh, wait, you should probably use the bathroom before you shower, because that's gross. So we're just going to use the bathroom, take a shower, and then do we have any food in the fridge? Yes, I do. Oh, you've got some spoiled fish tacos in your inventory, but let's come grab, I don't know, some chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, then we can work them off later, but this is just a kind of chill part, besides the whole pregnancy thing. Um, kind of a chill episode, which is good. We always need to kind of break things up like that. Play a prank, heck yeah, and... <gasps> He wants to buy a toy because he's gonna have a baby. Blake's gonna be a dad. You got this is so exciting. Admit you're excited. Yeah, yeah. So Belle's gonna be home in like an hour, I think. Yeah, four o'clock. So less than an hour, like 15 minutes, which is good. Uh, and then I want to go over and see Scarlett and the baby. We made $400. Uh, we're kind of hungry. We can go. Oh, we can't eat at her house though because the new rules. Ugh. Uh, where they like try and kick me out like you're being inappropriate. You're my sister. I can eat whatever I want uh, But we're just, <laughs> I'm a little bit salty about it But I want to just grab a snack and then go over to her house and see the baby because we now have a niece <gasps> This is family you guys family is everything and that's so important to me and this is so exciting I bet that Blake is really excited about it, too And they can tell her that Belle's pregnant. <gasps> oh pregnancy announcements. Oh, I'm gonna Okay, I have some pregnancy poses, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, like, a pregnancy announcement for, like, a legit one, and I'm gonna tweet it out. Oh, honey, yes, it's happening. You've probably seen it already, but hey, get, get excited, but come on, I just wanna go, I just wanna go see the baby, because it means so much to me that you guys come and meet her. Let's go! Pressing them key on purpose, and we're gonna go travel. Bye, Chip! Uh, to go see Scarlett in her little dumpy house, and her, you know, very small amounts of money, but she's got a baby, and that's so important, and I'm, Oh, okay, okay. Hold on, guys. Hold your horses. It's time to meet the child. This is a life-changing moment for me, okay? I hope she's not ugly. We've got <laughs> that's like a really bad thing to say, but she's got some John Lothario jeans in her, and that's never great. So, we just want to make sure that it all ends up nicely, but I mean, uh, you know, I mean, it, it could, it's a toss-up, because she's really pretty, but Dawn, I mean, he's a townie, so... You know how you know what I'm talking about. Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about because it could end up really badly. We're gonna come knock on the door even though she's right there because we'd be let in. Um, and this is so exciting. She looks so good too after just having a baby. Um, and Bl <laughs> Belle looks so good too. All right, I want to come meet the baby though. This is very important. Wait, should Blake get to meet it first or should Belle? Belle's pregnant. She needs to get <laughs> age up. No, we're gonna come bounce the baby. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is happening. Oh, 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 let's get the screenies. This is the most important thing that's happened to me all day. Well, I mean, Belle being pregnant is kind of important, too. It's a tie. M maybe it's not. I don't know. Who's more important, Scarlet or Belle? They're both very important characters in this Let's Play. So, oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at her little belly, too. She's got her belly, Belle with the belly, and she's got her little niece by marriage. Um, and, oh, this is so beyond exciting. Okay, 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 okay. 
Oh, do you think she likes us? I hope she does. I didn't see any like bad things happening there. Let's come rock the baby. Make a silly face the baby. Let's bottle feed the baby. I don't know, just take care of it a little bit. And then we're gonna have, obviously, Blake do it too. Just so we can all meet the baby so that we have like, a good relationship with her. Cause right now we have no relationship with her. And this is our niece, this is Claire. And I feel like Blake would be really close with her at least before the, his own child comes, you know? Cause he's kind of overcompensating. Uh, and this is his baby sister's baby. So, I mean, you know how it goes. I'm gonna clean up for her though, because She's having a rough time, so I guess, actually, let's have, <laughs> I feel like Belle would do that. She would come clean up the dishes, you know, try and help out, uh, while Blake, obviously, is gonna come take care of the kid. Oh, this girl, she's gonna eat. Um, we're gonna come not ask her to move in, we're gonna come talk to the baby. Rock, Belle, stop. I get it, you're excited, but you need to just not, alright, thanks. <laughs> and then Blake is gonna come, and he's, <gasps> oh, you guys look he's gonna be such a good dad i'm so excited about this i did a good job i picked well i know i did so you're welcome and we have the llama that we painted oh we have that painting <gasps> Belle made that painting remember we were gonna give it to scarlet we have it for her we can put it on her wall that's exciting can't i can right we're gonna put it right in here and we're gonna name it um hmm meep <laughs> and we're gonna the 100 baby squad will understand and I'm gonna <laughs> yeah so we got Meep up there on the wall that's actually really, it looks nice there I did a good job Belle is a great painter and we're going to level up in the writing skill for sure and she's just gonna clean up for us uh, we're gonna have Blake talk to the baby this is his niece you guys let's look at our family tree okay okay but look oh so we've got that we've got like this woman and we've got like oh grandma has no baby either Claire Chandler her granddaughter this is Rosa's first grandbaby but she feels old Cause she, I mean, she had these two when she was really young, but I bet she feels old, uh, having her first grandkid. So, she, I mean, she needs to feel young. I think she kind of is very self-conscious in that sense, which is sad, but, you know, what are you gonna do? Alright, but Belle did some cleaning. I don't want to, like, overstep any boundaries, but I'd like to help do some cooking. Because I feel like that's the realistic thing to do, is to help cook when you're at your, like, sister-in-law's house who just had a newborn baby and is doing it alone like we would cook her meals you know but we can't do that because the game is like oh I'm gonna have to ask you to leave so I mean we have some points we I mean I don't want to buy that reward but how much it's like 1500 isn't it the always welcome one oh it's only 500 oh honey yes that's worth it to me so we just so that we can cook our sister-in-law meals that's my only purpose in life I'm going to make her some eggs and toast. I think that's good. That's good. Like eight pieces of it. Uh, just so she has enough to kind of uh, get back on her feet. I don't want her to starve or anything. But on this note, kind of as we're sort of wrapping the part up, I'm going to remind you guys to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you didn't know, I post new videos every single day. So I will see you all tomorrow. But oh no. <laughs> Belle. Belle. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye, everybody.